All right, uh, I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. It's Gamer for Fun. You're going to be riding along with Chad in the uh, 1984 classic Pit Stop 2 by, by Epix. In the first episode, we uh, we played the track uh, Brands Hatch in Farmingham, England, and uh, came in last place. I'm not gonna lie, it was uh, it was a brutal one. It was a brutal race. We came in last. Um, in this uh, this next race, we're gonna be looking to uh, at least break. Uh, the single digit uh, finish here. So let's uh, let's see what we can do. Again, I'm playing this on a Commodore 64 emulator, and uh, it is going to be single player. We're going to change the track. Hockenheim, near Hildenburg, Germany. I assume that's how you pronounce it. Uh, if not, sorry about that. That's how it's going to get pronounced today. Because, hey, we're for fun. We're gaming. And is is gamer for fun. Okay. Very important we got one driver otherwise we basically got to sit around until that second driver finishes which is never gonna happen so as it is let's get the race started and give ourselves a name and here we go I'll be the, uh, I'm going to be the red car on the top. The top screen is my screen. And uh, off to a slow start there. Very slow start. Oh, get a little boost from the car from behind, which is great. Um, now, uh, I briefly talked about the map. The map is pretty accurate representation of uh, where you are on the track and where your opponent is on the track. If we take a quick glance at his screen, you can see he's absolutely going up to the corner there, and um, it's very accurate. So you can see about how far we are behind. Now. Um, playing against the computer, even on Rookie, I mean, the computer is, doesn't make hardly any mistakes on Rookie. I think the biggest thing is, um, and admittedly, in my youth, I really never played single player very often. Um, it was always, this was the game you played when, when your friends were over, for sure. Um, so I think the difference in the computer skill at the higher levels is um, they just don't take any tire damage, really. They do what they have to to take tire damage. Speaking of tire damage, you can see I got a little bit of a little bit of a situation on my front right there. I don't know if you can tell. That's a pink on the left. Oh, green on the left now. And a reddish hue. Ooh, yellow. That's uh, very dangerous. Ooh, pits. Good. All right. I'm not even going to worry about the rear tire. Um, spin this guy over. Get this yellow one off. Two more hits on this guy. And he would have been popped. That's for sure. Get it over there. Get changed. Da -da -da -da. Whoa. Going for a little journey here. Here we go. Back to the driving. Okay. Yeah, almost got lapped there. <laughs> you can see, you can see from the computer that uh, he don't make any mistakes. Um, the other big thing, sorry, when you're playing against the uh, computer at higher levels, 
is, or even higher levels, not necessarily at the computer, um, you'll notice I can take a couple hits on the tire before they actually change colors. At the higher levels, you basically take one hit and it changes color. So you got to be like a really good driver, which I clearly am not. Um, of course, anybody that knows me in real life would say, hey, you are a great driver. Uh, but clearly in this game, that is not the case. Uh, and just to be clear, I actually don't race <laughs> race cars in real life. I'm just talking daily driving in the old pickup truck there. So, so that's about it. Whoop. Now these uh, these computer uh, opponents that are just randos that you come across on the track, um, they range from just going too slow to annoyingly turning in front of you at every chance they get. Uh, you know, I feel like I gotta change these tires because I am not great at it at driving this thing. And I know it's only three. Oh, he's already done. So basically he's like waving to me in the pits. And I'm like, dude, I still got another lap to go. Oh, got to get it on the driver there. There we go. Okay, we got to do another lap. Um, One thing I didn't mention, I got the sound turned down for gameplay here. Because honestly, it is just like droning, annoying. It's just like, meh. And like, as soon as, as soon as I started this up, I was like, oh yeah. Now I remember. And of course it brought back. Yeah, like. Like that for hours on end. It's like just gray noise. At some point. It just blends into just. So yeah, I got the sound turned down quite little bit so you won't be able to hear all that action really there's not much to i mean aside from just engine noise pit noise and the occasional like pop tire there's really not much sound in this so besides it's just full throttle coming into the turns and of course these tracks three laps you're not even using enough fuel to even warrant uh changing to your uh, fuel guy to fuel up your tank when you're in the pits, so don't even worry about that on these three lap races. And we're coming around second last corner. He's just gonna come up real quick and it's gonna be like, boom, crash into the back of him. There we go. Oh, well, we're still in the, uh, well, at least we're in the top 10. <laughs> right. At least we're in the top 10. Uh, I think... Oh, the the order of the other computer drivers has changed a little bit. But uh, that, of course, probably just randoed. So, not a big deal. We are done our second track and second episode for the old Pit Stop 2. You've been riding along with Chad on Gamer for Fun, and we're going to see you again uh, real soon. Take it easy.